Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment of Weather Plus by Billy. Today's date, February 2nd, 2023. New. This is my third YouTube channel. I have a subscribe button in the lower right corner of my screen. Thanks for like, subscribe, and share on YouTube and Rumble. Episode 37. Ice melt Thursday. Praise the Lord. And Phil, the groundhog, sees his shadow. February 3 will equal joy. And that's tomorrow. Okay, let's get started. We'll go over the weather first and then over some comments by Patriot subscribers. Okay, we have this going on. All across the U.S. we've been seeing this monstrous uh, California, Texas, Florida snowstorm all the way down. And I will say this. Uh, let's see, about 10 o'clock, that would have been Tuesday, uh, we had some snow flurries that lasted about 10 minutes. I had a received a Facebook uh, picture. So that was in right here. This would have been right along the coast, Angleton, Texas. So yeah, see it before it disappears for sure. But a lot of people, and then uh, further up in Austin, we had, uh, I think, 30s on Dallas, 20s, and we had ice. And it's been across from Texas and Oklahoma, Tennessee, Arkansas. And it's, today uh, is Thursday, so we've had this since Tuesday. It's beginning a warm-up and a melt. So praise the Lord. And while we were having this ice, uh, I had a Patriot subscriber said, Yeah, down here in Florida, we're breaking... Uh, uh, records and heat so yeah that's going on now let's get to uh the news about phil the groundhog and this is up in pennsylvania and this tradition's been going on since 1887 and about 7 a.m they pull phil the groundhog out of his hole and they pulled him out this morning and he did see his shadow. So tradition has it, this means six more weeks of winter. And I got this information off of the Weather Channel, and they said that Phil is about 40% accurate. So, yeah, that's, that's going on. So at least our ice is going away. We're warming up. Uh, still have some ice melting on a lot of highways. So still need to be careful. But yeah, that's going on. Now I had a Patriot subscriber, I must be local, who asked me about the soap. And I showed I had to purchase some soap from a local vendor. And this is in West Columbia. Texas, and it's a, a group of local um, craftspeople, and they just started this business together. It's on Highway 35, and it's in the location where the Methodist Church used to have their country store, uh, kind of between HEB on this side and Prosperity Bank on this side. So they're selling uh, the soap. And the, the name of the business is Not Forgotten. So I recommend it. And it's supporting, you know, local craftspeople. So that's good. So I wanted to mention that. Not Forgotten. I'll try to remember to list the address and phone number as I did earlier. Okay. So now we have... Uh, some Patriot subscribers talking about the weather. And this is in South Africa. And I've had this um, Patriot subscriber since I began. 
three channels ago from South Africa. So she says, yeah, the weather is weird here. And that Florida, I have another one, is setting new records in the 80s. I have one from Oklahoma, about 30 miles from Tulsa. It's very cold. We've had ice and sleet Monday and Tuesday. I've had to run the faucets to keep them from freezing, but our power is okay. Yeah. Yesterday in Texas, we had at least a quarter of a million people without power, and it was freezing, and it still is very cold today, and rainy uh, for most of Texas until this afternoon, and our temperatures are about 40 degrees, so it's cold. Okay, and I have this one from Michigan. We're usually cold in February, but now we're warming up to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So we see another anomaly. We see heat in Florida, and this is an unusual heat warm up in Michigan. So that's going on. And we have this. This is very cold in North Wisconsin, four degrees Fahrenheit. That was on uh, Wednesday. And yeah, so I reported on the snow locally. That's was an event for the coast of Texas. Now, we have this. We have uh, about the economy. Yeah, so I have some Patriot subscribers and they're bringing information out about the economy. First of all, I'll go over this information that came from Hal Turner about Samsung. And this is a big tech, and they're located in South Korea. And for the third quarter of 22 and the fourth quarter of 22, they were down 31%. And now this last quarter, they're down 70%. So this is another indicator because Samsung is, has traditionally been a big seller of electronic products in the United States and around the world, but no, they're going down. Yeah. Due to the global economy going down. So now I have this. I have Patriot subscribers talking about things happening in the economy. Talking about shipping has been down since the lockdown of 2020. But we also had in August of 2022 is when those big major retailers, Walmart, Amazon, and so on, began canceling billions of dollars of orders. So they knew something was going to happen in the fall of 2022. So this is 2023. Oh, let me go over this. Uh, recently, God said, uh, I want you every day to think about a, a new way to make money. So, uh, and I heard just uh, maybe a week or so later, Mike from around the world on the Pastor Paul Begley show, Thursday night show, uh, Mike is a Christian, s saying that uh, the thinking was that all these things, e economic uh, problems and prices going up and, you know, food shortages being orchestrated, all these things were to decrease the amount of money that Christians had so they had less support for the church. That seems logical to me, but I was amazed when God said this. So one way uh, I'm making money now is I'm, uh, I always, when my purse gets heavy, I take all the change out. Well, I found out that if you have dimes or quarters made 1964 or earlier, they have a lot of silver in them. So like, the dime or the quarter could be worth as $3 each. I'm not sure. But I have a separate bag where I store those. 
And then for me, I always use quarters. You know, uh, I keep those because I do for the car wash. Now, that leaves a lot of other change. Pennies, nickels, um, dimes, and dimes, uh, you know, made after 1964. Okay. So, I noticed at a Walmart, they have a machine that's called coins. And you take your coins in a bag and you dump them into this machine. And uh, the machine, I understand, keeps like maybe 1 or 2% of the total. And then they give you a little slip of paper. And you then stand in the service line at Walmart and give them the little slip, slip of paper. And they give you cash. So I've got this little bag that probably weighs about two pounds. I'll see how much that's worth. But that's one way to make money. And then the silver stuff, I'll just save and cash in when I, I, I'm not familiar with cashing in silver. So I'll have to find out where. But at any rate, so we've been going down in our economy uh, since 2020. And the big retailers had a heads up on it that they didn't share with us for sure. Now, so this uh, uh, Patriot subscriber says yes, and the shipping's going down. That, that's right. Real estate is going down everywhere. It's bad everywhere. I have another one who's saying we can clearly see government uh wants you know they want money and it's the way they go about it, it's not good for we the people now we have this we have uh, from real raw news an arrest was made of the secretary of agriculture and he's in gitmo this is from a patriot subscriber uh, because the government was working through the department of agriculture to cause food shortages in the United States. Yeah. Okay. So I have this uh, from another Patriot subscriber. In Iraq, we went after artifacts and Nimrod, and it was to destroy Iraq and their economy because they didn't want to take the, um, you know, maintain the U.S. dollar. They want to be on a gold back economy like the BRICS nations. Now I have this from a Patriot subscriber I've had since the beginning of my first channel. She's from South Africa and she's saying our president Ramaphosa wants to declare a state of emergency and we the people of the United States know that when our government declares a state of emergency it's, it's so that they can manipulate things and take more of our rights. You know that's involved. But uh, she's been saying uh, for this past week in South Africa, their power grid is down or unstable and their cities and municipal governments are all collapsing. So yeah, that's going on. So now we'll get to uh, why uh, February 3 is going to equal joy. Okay. This is from Cliff High from his WebBot data. Now, the WebBot data, uh, Phil wrote um, about 2000 software that would go all over the internet, collect language. And then he wrote a piece of software that was an algorithm that could pick up patterns in the language and then it could use it to predict the future. This reflects, uh, you know, we the people made in the image of God. We think, we speak, we create reality. That is accurate. And so through the language being spoken, he could pick up the patterns and predict what's uh, going to happen in the future from we the people who are speaking our reality in, into uh, being. All right. So this is what he's getting. February 3 will equal joy. And he's saying uh, today is February 2. Uh, and the pattern for today and tomorrow is uh, 
attention and emotional feeling for most people and uh, there will be a sudden release tomorrow and uh, it is a type of release that signifies joy victory and it will be uh, joy and victory from the data you know over multiple things like our government and our economy we say bring it father so and he's saying that uh february 3 our joy is going to go up and it's going to go on it may be a multi-year event so we say thank you father and we pray father bless america and all nations with peace and prosperity for 2023 and i say to my family and friends out there remain steady continue to pray god is in charge and he is on the move i love you and i'll see you soon